yeah this is the one i'm gonna watch talks versus indians on arabia either this is some chinese guy or this is chart the japanese top player Okay, my name is also playing. Uh, yeah, I would like I want to watch this one, and I don't see see my name in the queue or like anything. So this is the one I'm like most interested in watching at the moment. Turks versus Indians. Indians have the superior cavalry, and Turks have the superior gunpowder units. Turks have like extra gold mining bonus. Indians have. Uh, cheaper villages from their TC. I'll just fast forward it a little bit to catch up in the real time. The Dark Age is probably going to be pretty similar from both the sides. I think Indian wants to probably open with scouts and Turks might want to go for different openings like men at arms, brush, or scouts depending on the map he has. But looking at Zuppi, he only has three onwards. Looking at the other side, the red player also has three onwards, so it means we are gonna see a scout war from both of them. Walls are going to be pretty easy for red, like you can just wall this, make like a couple of buildings in the front, wall this area and it's gonna be really protected. Zuppi on the other hand has to go for a little bit bigger walls, but his map is also not that bad. Red player decides to go for scouting and Zuppi is pushing deers. So that is the difference you can see in the dark edge from both the sides. Indians probably can manage to like get away with not pushing deer because since the villages are cheaper so you won't really have that much issue producing villages and scouts at the same time. Zuppi is going to try to chase the scout away. He's not going to be bothered by it that much. Red scout is maybe going to try to stop the deer lure being successful. Maybe, maybe. No, he's not interested in doing that. And the difference you can see already, this is like the fourth villager on the world. And around this point, Zuppi is gonna click up at 21 population with 20 villages, four on this one, and probably like four on this one. It'd be fine. He has a good idea of what his surroundings look like. He can wall this, this. Make like barracks and stable on this area, wall up, wall this up, and he's gonna be really safe compared to the other guy, the uh, player 2. He also has like 8 villages on board, everything else on food. He's going back for the scout. He might want to push the deer, but like he can just wall this, make his buildings on the front, and is going to be really protected. 5 militia Bulgarians versus killed enemy. Okay. What did I miss actually? Slam is playing, Slam's playing Huang. Yeah, I don't want to watch Huang that much. It's gonna be the same thing, like he's gonna push. It's not that interesting to me. Uh, and he comes with one will for and some board builds a barracks on my fan. Uh, 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 Okay, I'm, uh, enemy comes with one villager forward, leaves boar, builds a barracks on my face while he is walling at his base for a fast FC archer. My map is unwallable, what should I do? So, the thing with doing that is he's already idling one villager and like idling a couple more villages walling his own base. So, if you just like push deer or like have a really perfect dark edge, you can click up to the next stage even without having one less boar. If you just make like farms and like gar collect like more of your berries like instead of four since uh, six on sheep. Uh, six on like berries, everything else on sheep, try to click up really fast. Uh, wall up your like villages in and follow up with like archers behind that try to hit his walls make him re-wall again and again while you're developing your economy behind it it's gonna depend mostly on the map and the civilization he is playing but so far like it's not gonna be that big of an issue Zuppi is gonna be a micro nerd with the scout he's gonna try to pick off the villager Red player is just walling really slowly. He wants to focus more on production rather than walling. 
looking at Zuppi. Zuppi is also probably doing the same thing. He has like a bunch of spears parked around his important resources and sending all the scouts forward. That's the second scout and the third and the fourth one in the queue. Only one scout in the queue from Red. Red has also made a couple of spears protecting his resources. And he's gonna be looking to wall this area once this area has been fully walled. The spear is probably gonna scare these scouts away. The scouts are gonna look for this area as well and the spear is gonna chase this away. The spear gets one hit and this might yeah this is a mistake you should never fight a spear with only three scouts you can if the spear is isolated like away from the base where like you can micro it down not take that much damage but i don't think you should fight the spears near the villages because vill villages can just join in i think it's just really unfortunate like the question you asked me the scenario can be different in so many ways. It's all going to be like the approach and the map he has rather than anything. <laughs> so Zuppi is actually getting a few villager kills. The spears are being mishandled from Red. Red so far I don't think he has gotten a villager. He's still just gonna try to like look, try to kill the spearmen and is gonna take casualties in return. And Zuppi is just good quick walling his villagers in. Red has also decided to do the same, but not before he lost a villager to Zuppi scout. Zuppi is just making scouts, like making quick walls, making spears, so these scouts are not going to do much. The follow-up from Zuppi probably is going to be archers, but not nothing on gold just yet. The three spears are chasing away the scouts from Zuppi. Uh, three spears from Zuppi as well, like the red player is chasing away Zuppi and the base chasing away the red player. Both of them are going to gold now around the same time. <coughs> yeah, game has stabilized a little bit. I would imagine this area already being walled, but he's probably gonna be producing like in military buildings over here. Nope, he's just gonna wall. I take my words back. The four scouts still trying to be sneaky. The scouts have been called back from Zuppi. Two new scouts and the three scouts that he's bringing back. Trying to clean any scouts that Red is gonna throw at him. So the five scouts from Zuppi is gonna be easily able to take down the four scouts from the Red player. The Red player already has like a few weak scouts mixed in. The three spears probably are going to be called in the front once the wall up is complete. The archer range is being thrown out. So only a uh, two villager difference, but I think that is mostly due to like red player getting wheelbarrow a little faster. The so wheelbarrow is completed now. Wheelbarrow is going to be completed. So it's almost like one and a half villager that red player is going to be behind Zupi even after losing that one. Zuppi is also going to be focusing on completing his walls, making a blacksmith and an archery range, Art double range, no blacksmith just yet, blacksmith being thrown out on the, this side of the map. This is the only exposed in the open position in the defenses of Zuppi, so Zuppi is going to bring out his army on this area and is going to proceed to wall this up even more. Two spears are being thrown over here, completing the walls. The three spears and the four scouts in the middle of the map trying to look for any opportunity that he might be able to catch army from Zuppi to do any damage to him. Archers are being produced from both the players. Both the players are going up almost at an identi identical time. One percent different. Turks have archers any good versus Indians? Uh, not really because like if you look at the matchup, this, uh, the camels do so much bonus damage and have like pierce armor. Pierce armor on them for free but actually is going probably is going to be counterproductive you're better off sticking with archers compared to cavalry archers the camels are just going to be really more, much more efficient at dealing with the cavalry archers even if the indians has decided to open ranges himself he always has an option to mix in a few camels of his own to deal with the cavalry archers Zuppi is already just going for arches and so is the red player. It's all going to be about the map control. Map control is usually the thing 
but what would be the late game transition for Turk? It can come down to multiple things. They can open the like, camels and then switch to CA. I know it's actually a good question. Even it really is very dependent on the situation, especially versus Indians. I'm actually not sure myself. It's all going to be up to Zippy on how he decides to play this in terms of the late game. The archers are being like the archers are picking off the military, so I think map control is in favor of red player now. And with like the one percent up faster, I'm not sure that's gonna make that big of a difference, but it still counts a little bit. Both of them are up, bot can arrow, crossbow upgrade coming out for both of them. Let's see who wants to go for ballistics. Uh, red goes for town center. And I think maybe Zuppi might decide to do the same instead of ballistic. Yeah, he's just going for town center himself. Nobody goes for ballistics at a really higher level. I don't understand why. It just like gives you that much more of an advantage in terms of map control. One knight being produced. Actually, that knight is being cancelled. So that villager being picked off and the village count is equal now. So really even game. I would actually like prefer to be Indians in those positions just because of the economy advantage they have like the potential to get to. Uh, let's see what Zupi is gonna follow it up with. Like he has enough resources to get a third town center up or he wants to like he can go for two of those things. Either ballistics or he, he can get a third town center up. Looking at the red or green in this position on the UI, he wants to go for university. So I think that is the correct way to play this. Just get a second TC and a university so that you're not falling behind in boom and you also have like the tech lead over your enemy. Hopefully like Zuppi also decides to do the same. Otherwise like the he might start getting out out micro out micro pretty heavily in the coming future. Villages are being produced, like these number of farms are good enough to produce from both the town centers. But like the ballistics has been researched and he's also gonna be able to throw down the third TC immediately after that. No third TC just yet from Zuppi. Third TC being thrown down. Okay. And third TC should be coming up from our red player as well. The red player is just gonna camp the hill. He's gonna wait for Zuppi to move out and is gonna catch it. Zuppi decides to go back. Uh, no such army lead just yet from either of them. The third TC being put down. Zuppi is gonna have like his TC a little faster, but to compensate for that, Red already has ballistics. So he should be looking to actively push into the army once he realizes that his enemy does not have the ballistics upgrade. This push up the hill might prove. Oh, yeah. Zuppi decides to not push it. I think he's palisade scouting or house scouting the enemy. Or maybe not. Uh, I think Red should just push into it. He should micro a little bit more though. Yeah, just the hill advantage is going to be the crucial deciding factor in these fights. Red is getting plus 2 armor on his crossbow. So he wants to make sure that he's gonna get like that uh, archer. Like even if he's behind in numbers, he's just gonna have the tech lead over his enemy. The 30 C being put down, the 30 C is gonna start producing villages as well. The archers are picking off the enemy's archers, like the knights are being produced, and the crossbows are just like even at this point, like Zuppi just turns around and decides to fight and trade his army. It's gonna be a win in terms of Red's book. Like he's already doing so much free damage just because of ballistics. And Zuppi is running away because he does not have the access to the ballistic technology. Zuppi has to run away with these wood line villages. One villager being put down. So the one villager lead and now there's like one villager lead for Red. A moment back, uh, Zuppi was in the will lead. Now Red is in the will lead. So the three villages, like only one villager lead. It's really still very close game. Like the map control is in favor of Red. But that's only because he had the tech lead early. To compensate for that, so Red has decided to run away from this area. He has to like hide in the corner of the map, or like it has to go on this area. Red is making a mangonel, and he dis de <laughs> he deleted a town center. This is gonna cost him the game immediately. 
Yeah, I think he was trying to delete the palace side over here and he deleted the town center. I'm actually not sure how he is replacing the town center. Oh, he was actually collecting stone over here. So, yeah. <laughs> this is so bad for him. He was in a lead. He was actually in a pretty significant lead over Zupi. But that TC deletion might just cost him. So, Red is just gonna try to trade army against the crossbow. Meanwhile, the knights are gonna clean up. Only plus one armor. The mangonel is being produced. The monks are over there. Yeah, the army is trapped, but like he traded the army and like did a lot of free damage. So that army was worth it, but now he's behind in numbers. The mangonel has to like make a big difference in this fight. Zupi is just gonna run away from this fight, I feel. He should run away from this fight, honestly. Uphill versus like Mangonel and Cross, so this is not a fight he should like be looking to fight actively against this guy. The Mangonel doing damage to the... <laughs> yeah, th this is the fight he should not take. I have no clue why he posts that issue. Post the issue on this one. Red is gonna switch to Camels now. This is really smart, like even with deleting a town center, he's still maintaining his lead because of that bad fight that Zupi decided to take uphill. Uphill fight should really be avoided in these sort of situations when you are like have a military lead. Uh, this game over fight I'd think. Yeah, if he did not delete the TC, I would say so myself. Like, But look at the build difference, it's still the same because of that. So, like it's not... Of course, Zupi is at a disadvantage, but he's not losing the game just yet. Zupi is making Mangonel of his own. Uh, red player is probably gonna look to click up and switch to full camels now. He's gonna make a castle on this hill in the middle of the map and just gonna be pushing with camels later on. He's playing, he's playing this really patiently, and I really like it for that. Like him for that, because. Like, he, he already knows that he has an advantage, even though he deleted the town center, after that fight he knows he has an advantage, so he's just gonna camp on that advantage and not push it. So, because sometimes when you push your advantage too much, you give your uh, enemy to come back in these situations. So he's just gonna wait on that hill, uh, patrol and camp it out. Uh, more archery ranges are being thrown out, archers are still patrolling that hill. He has stopped villager production, so that means he's ready to click up. He should just force garrison all these villagers and now he's up. Compared to Zupi, Zupi is also like really close to clicking up. He's making a market. He, once this market has gone up, he will be looking to go up. Yeah, he's garrisoning all his gold, still like 40 short of clicking up. The market has to be used to click up. This, this is gonna hurt him. The up timing is gonna hurt him. He has the resources, he has the food, but he does not have the gold. Yeah, he still needs eight more gold to click up. And the up time is gonna be a bitch because this castle uphill is just gonna like butcher this castle down. He has to rely on the few. Uh, the up time, like, he could have been like 10% faster and still survive with this castle. But that 10% is probably gonna cost him. So, <laughs> Indians has decided to switch to cavalry archers. That was something I would expect. Uh, yeah. What would Zupi make an imp? I have no clue, man. I'm confused about it as, as much as my, like as much as you are. I'm not sure what Turks is supposed to do versus Indians in the Imperial Age. The crossbows are like being moved around to like get another area. Four town center over this area, so both of them are booming up their economy. Gates are being thrown down to control the map. Stone walls are being put up. The castle is already on the hill. The, both the golds in the front have been secured. I'm not sure what these villagers are gonna try to do. Let's go from his point of view. Maybe another castle. Now he's just gonna go for that gold, and he might actually be able to get it if Zupi does not notice it. So these crossbows are denying the town center from red, but red is gonna be up faster. Does he know about the castle? I don't think he does. But he switched to cavalry archers. And Zupi is making 
Janissary? Yeah, Zuppi is just going Janissary, which is a horrible choice in this, this like in this area. Like, yeah, he switched to cavalry now, but like he's making so many transitions. Went for crossbow, then he went for Janissary. Now he's trying to transition into like cavalry. So, so many transitions is not gonna do much. And these archers are not buying him enough time for him to like prepare an army behind this push. Maybe just Tassars, but even I don't know, man. Like, bombard cannons are being produced to defend this castle. And, like, Hussar, heavy camel. What's the plan here, Zupi? Let me see it. <laughs> they, they, both of them are sharing the gold, but the cavalry archer is already here, trying to kill the villagers from Zupi. The gate is not being constructed. It's like a bug from DE where. Uh, you can't place down diagonal gates correctly anymore. The bombard cannons should be passed over here, trying to snipe down that town, uh, that trebuchet. The crossbow in the front, cavalry archers in the back, heavy cavalry archer being researched, and on the other side, heavy camel rider from Zuppi. So this castle is being thrown down. The Janissary should be able to deny it if uh, he sees it, and the villagers are being ran away. The cavalry archers are being pulled over here to try to deal with the Janissary so that he can get the castle up. But Red decides that he does not want to take any chances on that. Goes for the extra gold on the right side of the map. Sharing the gold, exactly man. Just like all the NC zone games where one player dies and you have to run away with all your villages and share the gold of the other flank. I remember those games man. I think this is chart though. I'm not sure about the player, but like the way he's playing the game, it, it looks a lot like Chart. Chart always plays like this, like really patiently moving only when like the advantage is clearly in his favor, not pushing a lot, just getting like small advantages and capitalizing on those things. Uh, he's transitioning into Hussars and Light Cavalry as well. He sees the Heavy Camel Rider, but Heavy Camel Riders are not gonna do much if like uh, this guy, the chart gets to like a really, really big uh, heavy cavalry archer boss. The castle being thrown down on this hill. This is gonna protect this area and the extra gold. Uh, he's sitting at 120 villages almost, picking off the town centers and like the extra economy in the front from Zuppi. Zuppi is just gonna wait for a big mass before he thinks that he can push and like get the map control back. But till that time, he's just gonna mass and wait for all his resources and military to max out. He's still not like at 200 population, so he, so he would be looking to get something like 40 camel riders before he thinks he can push that. But he like. Red is just forcing the issue, so he is forcing like Zuppi to push into this. Zuppi has like plus 4 armor and the crossbow are doing a little bit of damage. Cavalry archers are being microed away and Hussars are being added. Like light, light cavalry is being added now. So light cavalry will be used to raid while the cavalry archers are just gonna use the hit and run tactic. He's chasing him towards the castle. The castle is gonna do a lot of bonus damage to the camels. The cavalry archers on the hill are going to be really hard to deal with. The cavalry archers are probably gonna try to target down the bombard cannon. Or maybe the light cavalry is gonna be the one that's gonna do the thing. Yeah, the cavalry archers is just killing like the camels too fast before he can do anything. <laughs> He dropped that uh, extra cast. Yeah, these cavalry archers are just being used to raid over here. He wants to deny the gold from Zuppi on that side as well. These few cavalry archers in the front are just melting the front line from Zuppi. Zuppi really does not have an answer to this. Like the Janissary are very inaccurate and the damage output from them are going to be like slower compared to the Heavy Cavalry Archer. Heavy Cavalry Archer probably has more DPS compared to Janissary. Janissary does deal a lot of damage, but the rate of fire is the one that is gonna like make it make him lose the game most of the time. Hussar being teched into and I think he already has the plus 4 armor for them and now he's gonna be focusing on getting the attack upgrade for it. He's already maxed out on the full population limit. 
and now it's gonna push with trebs take down the castle take down the defenses from zuppi and push into the economy with the raiding cavalry that he is going to have a few hussar trying to snipe off the trebs not gonna do much are gonna get sniped by the cavalry archers cavalry archers are just gonna patrol near the trebs the castle in the frontal position is gonna provide a lot of like map control for red so let's see zuppi is still marching camels still marching janissary this is the army composition he thinks can deal with the heavy cavalry archers from indian indians should probably look into switch into his own imperial camels from this point on i would feel that is the way that the next transition from the indian player should be coming in uh still zuppi trying to expand his economy losing like he is trying to replace any economy he has lost the cavalry archers are doing a lot of damage to the camels the hussar is being used like a meat shield in the front i think like red is fine with the, taking this trade because both the gold armies are being depleted only for the hussar front line so he can continuously trade the hussars in the front to take down the camels I think he'll just be raided to death now. Once this like gold army has been depleted and Zuppi like Zuppi still has an insane amount of gold economy. What am I saying? Like he still has a lot of gold in the bank. But the hit and run tactics used by the cavalry archers and Hussar in the front as the front line is always going to be superior because they are so much more cost efficient compared to like look at look at this economy. This is insane. Like 4000 gold like almost 2000 food which he has already invested into heavy camel and all the upgrades and a lot of wood so he's floating a lot of resources even the raids that zuppi is going to do is not going to do much he already has too many resources in the bank so he's just going to wait it out like he's going to wait wait and like ask zuppi the question bro i have the map control i have all the resources you are the one who is going to have to push me otherwise he's just going to transition into imperial camel elkin and kill zuppi because imperial once imperial camel comes even the janissary are not going to do much against that the camels are being pulled in to defend versus the raids that are being produced the hussar raid from zuppi is also trying to accomplish a few things not go, not sure what that is um uh, Red is still like at a really healthy village account. The pace back to all this area. The hussar are being like uh, continuously just yeah, the red should wall this honestly. Like just wall this and force him to go through this area. Wall this as well. Like he can make a couple of walls to make Zuppi's life a nightmare. Like just wall up a little bit of his own map to make a few choke points to force Zuppi to get through those positions. which can really turn like zuppi's position into a even more impossible run to come back from heavy camels are being pulled on the right side of the map he wants to look for another raiding the few heavy cavalry archers are in the economy defending the position felt like zuppi's army engagement in castle is pretty much determined the game yes i would agree because he uh, he wanted to be in an advantage to deal with the indian late game because indians in the late game are probably going to be the superior civilization compared to turks they have access to fully upgraded skirmishers they have hal they have access to halberdiers and they have the imperial camel which deals so well like look he's already researching halberdiers he's preparing for the late game they, he has run out of gold but like he has two relics he can take this relic as well zuppi has not taken that relic so it probably means zuppi only has access to one relic so yeah this guy is like doing all the right things yeah losing the hill is probably like more devastating like if red lost that hill he had both the golds in the front so it's going to easily snowball if zuppi makes a castle over here He's just gonna be taking him off gold and winning the game on the spot. The imperial camels in the front, uh, mixed with a few hussars and heavy cavalry into, uh, archers in the back line of the army. I honestly think if he patrols this army uh, in the forward, he is just gonna win. 
I don't think Janissary are going to be that impressive at dealing with the Imperial Camel. The Imperial Camel are gonna kill camels faster than these Janissary are gonna be doing any damage to uh, the Imperial Camel. And they're not even elite Janissary. Yep, the front line is just melting too fast. And this guy can replace his entire army. Just look at the queue. He has like so many Imperial Camels and Hussars in the queue compared to Zupi. Zupi might probably be running out of like resources. Yeah, look at this. Zupi has already run out of gold. He's barely producing anything. Even like the food economy does have is gonna start struggling. Hussars are not gonna do much versus the Imperial Camel. And this is probably the last like final blow that Zupi had in the tank. Once he loses this Janissary mask, the trebs are gonna be just doing and finishing the game. This Hussar raid is not gonna accomplish much. Zupi is down to no relics also. Yeah, not having any relics is also one of the bigger issues. He's like getting a bit of map control, but the army power from Indians is just too superior. Albert users are also being mixed in and Zupi taps out and that's the game. It's really well played from player to the Indians player. Like even with deleting the town center, <laughs> he managed to like not die. Usually in these situations where the games are really equal against really high level players, if you make mistakes like that, you're not supposed to win. So very well played from this guy.